Yes, the book of Daniel. <laughs> In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnez, yes, Chadnezar, uh -huh, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem, besieged it. <laughs> and the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand uh, with part of the vessels of the house of God. <laughs> which he carried unto the land of Shinar, to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, uh -huh, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princes. Now children, uh -huh, in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge, and understanding science such as had ability in them <laughs> to stand in the king's palace uh -huh, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. Yes. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat. Yes. And of the wine which he drank, so nourishing them three years that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Yes. Yeah. So they received this special nourishment from the king for three years, and then they would present themselves to the king. Yes. Now among these were the children of the children of Judah, Daniel, yeah, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Oh, there's Daniel, Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael. Yeah. Uh, unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names, for he gave unto Daniel the name Belshazzar, and to Hananiah, Shadrach, Michel Meshach, and to Azariah Abednego, right? So there was four of them, yep. <laughs> but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Mm -hmm. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. <laughs> now God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. Yes. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my lord the king who hath appointed your meat and your drink, for why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort? <laughs> then shall he shall ye make me endanger my head to the king. <laughs> then said Daniel to Melshaw, Melzar, <laughs> whom the prince of the eunuchs had said over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, Prove thy servants, test us, right? I beseech thee ten days, and let them give us pulse to eat and water to drink. Mm. Must be similar to the, the vegetarian pulp, if you were to grind up um, vegetables. Yes. Then let our countenances be looked upon before thee in the countenance of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat. And as thou seest, uh, deal with thy servants, right? So he consented to this matter and proved them ten days. And at the end of the ten days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. Now, uh, this idea, right, that they were vegetarians, yes. And uh, he didn't want to eat the meat and he didn't want to drink the wine. <laughs> I am of the mindset that I like fresh squeezed juices. In fact, I've owned numerous juicers. Yes, I've owned a champion juicer. <laughs> I've owned a abyssal juicer. Yes, I've, I've owned a juice man juicer. Yes, he has. <laughs> now, let's say you're in my office. Oop, smoothies. Yes, I think fresh juices without the pulp because it's so filling. Yes, and large amounts of herbal supplements that do increase your sexual desire, your libido, yes, would be important for all the employees. Now, I've done some research on these various herbal supplements that increase the sexual drive of an individual. <laughs> Let's say you're an employee. You're there and you're like, well, I don't want to have coffee at work. I want to have fresh squeezed juice. And I do want the herbal supplements and I do want to increase my actual libido because of the use of herbs and spices. <laughs> Now, as an employer, <laughs> I would think that having the availability of fresh squeezed juices, you can have the pulp in them if you want. I, I have done, 
I've done a ton of research on the juicing. <laughs> now, let's say you're working. Yes. You have yourself a couple of fresh squeezed juices, maybe some apple, some carrot, some celery. <laughs> Potato juice is good for your stomach. I've really done a lot of study. Yes. Now, for those individuals that like the idea of herbal supplements increasing their sexual libido so as to make it a much more pleasant work experience, shut up! <laughs>